Hello, hello everyone. My name is Anne. I'm a SEO girl, and today I want to talk about Google Sheet formulas and how we can use this useful tool to ease our SEO routine tasks. I will show you real cases and examples on how we can use Google Sheets for SEO needs. So let's go. The first formula is lookup, and what does that formula do? It makes Google or Excel search for a certain value in a column in order to return a value from a different column in the same row. Still sounds difficult? Please uh, don't worry, I will explain you on the next slide on a real example what does it mean. For example, you have two tabs, uh, one, uh, Google sheet, um, one Google Sheet URL with two tabs, data from your targeted keywords and volume uh, of those keywords and also nearby you have data from Google Search Console with clicks, impression and CTR. So you want to combine those data and see how much clicks your keywords get from Google. So it's easy to do with lookup formula. What does it do? Um, Let's check on the real case. Uh, please look at a column. We have a digital marketing agency keyword phrase. So we ask Google Sheet or Excel to search those keywords on your second tab, Sheet 2. Uh, it has a title Sheet 2, you know, and uh, you can see it below. And you want to find those keyword phrase and retrieve the data from the second tab and show you how much this keyword has clicks, impression and CTR. Uh, you can also see that I use a comma and uh, ask false or true. So this syntax is easy. False means the exact match and true the approximate match. My advice is to use uh, false as where you can because this um, syntax show you the real data and if you use uh, true some keywords with typos and mistakes uh, can you know can work here and that's why you uh, mm, you don't get a clear data on each keyword so just remember that you should use false or also zero it's the same false or zero at the end of that formula to get the real data i know this still sounds difficult but please try to uh, to do it manually to insert this formula and i'm sure uh, you can do it you can s search some real example and do it on your side and let's move on the second formula is import range and the truth is that it works almost the same as lookup but the difference is that it combines data uh, not from different tabs but from different uh, sheets with different urls so it works also the same you just uh, put into quotes uh, the absolute url of a different sheet to combine those data together um, in our agency, in Idea Digital, we use this formula to find some information, to combine information about budgets, about how much money we have on our projects in one place. So we have a lot of different uh, different sheets with uh, some ways, with some information, how much we have already spent on on the content, on backlinks, on technical uh, technical part of SEO, and we combine those data in one place to see how much money we have and what we need to do if, if we have already wasted all the money. Uh, in that case, import range really is all those uh, calculations. So the third formula split and it is really simple formula. For example, you have a list of URL from some bad sites. You don't want to, uh, you want don't want Google to find those backlinks, and you don't want these uh, URLs um, to link to your site. So you want to disavow it, and you don't want to do a monkey job. That's why you use split formula and separate uh, different parts of the URL to extract the domain name and to 
put it um, <clears throat> in a DSLO file. So you use split formula and after that you use the next formula, concatenate formula. You add some information uh, before or uh, after the after the string, uh, to, you just need to add, for example, domain part in the quotes uh, to get the real list with easy to use list that can be just uh, copy paste and used in a DSLO file. So it's that simple. You just uh, add concatenate domain in the quotes and use this formula to DSLO all bad backlinks, which uh, link to your site. And the last formula, sum if. Uh, it is also very useful and easy to use formula. Uh, it uh, um, asks Google Sheet or Excel to calculate only those data which contains some determiner. For example, on uh, the, uh, in this case, we have different block categories and a few of blog posts inside those categories. You see that these blog posts get some clicks from search but you don't understand uh, um, you can't calculate manually it takes too much time to calculate how much each blog post in each category gets so you just want to combine data quickly and check how many sale PPC general and offline marketing category uh, brings you clicks so it's that simple you just if use some if formula and combine now you want to combine data of all clicks only if those A uh, column consists sale, PPC, general, offline marketing. And that's why you see that, for example, PPC category brings you the most part of your clicks. That's why you need to pay some special attention to those categories that bring some more traffic, more clicks from SERP and, you know, create some new topics, cover uh, and create evergreen content inside that category. So, friends, thank you so much for your time. Please share. Maybe you have also some favorite uh, formulas inside Google Sheet, which I haven't mentioned in my in my presentation and I also uh, link, uh, uh, leave a link to two my favorite sources, free sources to explore this topic and also to practice your new knowledge about Google Sheet and Google Search Console. Please find the link below and thanks for watching. Bye bye.